So I did a reading for the collective and I'm so excited because, oh my God, okay, let me tell you why. <laughs> so we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is talking about um, a past lover coming back into your life. And then with the Two of Cups, this is talking about uh, this person coming in with an offer of a relationship. It also signifies somebody that you are going to have a strong connection with and you guys are going to be mutually attracted to each other. It also indicates a reunion with someone from the past, okay? So we have this card talking about somebody from the past <clears throat> sorry this card talking about somebody from the past and now we have the same thing going on here so now this is also a card of soulmates okay so now the outcome is the four of wands this is talking about um marriage happy family life success stability security everything that we want okay and it also again represents a reunion with someone from the past so for sure somebody from the past is coming back okay so i clarify these cards and we have the phoenix so basically this is talking about new phase and rekindle so to me you know the rekindle again you know somebody from the back is going to come back they want to try things again you know they want to give it another shot also with the phoenix card it shows that you know like this person grew from whatever happened in the past because it says here growth uh transformation so you know this person does want to come back and give it another shot because maybe they realize your worth through whatever happened in the past maybe there was a separation whatever we could do a reading and clarify that okay so now we have the love call so i clarified the two of cups and this is saying that uh, this offer of maybe not a relationship off the bat or maybe just you know an offer to hang out and stuff like that Because I did clarify those cards as well and I'm gonna show you in a minute But this is saying that that offer is gonna come in the form of a text or a call because we have here Someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know So this person is definitely gonna be you know reaching out soon if they haven't already Okay, so now for the four of wands is interesting because I asked to clarify that but I felt like spirit kept telling me to pull more cards so now we have here the four of wands we have the paradise okay we have this here but i feel like spirit is saying before you get here you need to do this and this okay so this is talking about um addiction codependent obsession possession controlling has a block or restraint so spirit is saying if you have any codependency issues you know right now from something that happened in the past either with this person or with anybody you know it could be from childhood issues or you know things that happened in the past with other uh you know ex-relationships and stuff like that um you know any fear of abandonment issues any trust issues you know if you feel like you know like you have to be controlling and stuff like that spirit is saying let it go release that you know right now okay they're telling you you know take your time uh, you are making you are going to be making progress because we do have here uh, the paradise card for the for the outcome but they're telling you you know take your time and all that because they're basically telling you we don't want you to ruin this okay this is something that you you deserve okay don't ruin it now with with this okay so take your time so now when i clarified um this right here we have here the chill out card so basically you know this person is definitely going to be reaching out you know, it says here, drink one, smoke one, whatever, whatever. Whatever you, you like to do, you are going to do it, okay? So now, my bad. <clears throat> so now, the next card that we have is the night out. So, okay, again, this person's going to reach out to you. Maybe let's have some drinks. Let's go out. You know, let's go to the bar, whatever, right? So we have the intimacy card. So this is talking about, um, you know, that maybe you are needed some intimacy. But I feel like what they're trying to say, there's definitely going to be some intimacy here. It says here, um... Maybe you're going to be intimate with somebody uh, for the first time. So this could definitely be true because maybe all these things that, that, that they're talking about from the past, it could be a soulmate, you know, like a past life soulmate. So maybe that's what they're trying to say. I have cards that say that, but I didn't get none of those cards yet. So basically, you know, there it could be a, a past life soulmate if this is somebody new, okay? If not, they're just, they're just trying to say that you guys are definitely going to be, um, you know, intimate with each other. Um... It could definitely be sex, but it doesn't have to be. You could be intimate with each other. You could just, you know, have have time talking, getting to know each other after a couple drinks at the bar and stuff like that. But it's going to be the same, okay? Something intimate, sorry. So now, we have the soulmate card. So basically, they're letting you know, uh, you could be in a soulmate situation. There could also be a soulmate coming into your life. Love is in the air. So again, they're letting you know through all of this. And this, this is a soulmate connection. So you have a lot of clarification for that. So now when I pull more Oracle cards, we have here the Awakening card. So it says uh, both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations. So that's what I was saying about this whole, you know, uh, rekindle card, you know, like transformation, uh, growth. So I feel like this person, you know, maybe you guys, you needed to leave this person so you could realize your worth through the separation, you know, so you can realize, you know, like, that's my, that's my girl, you know, I need my girl back and stuff like that. And that caused him, you know, to finally get his shit together. So now we have the protected card. It says, uh, you are safe and divinely guided. So these last two cards with the vulnerability, it says you can be completely open with this person. I feel like spirit is le like giving you a lot of reassurance, you know, like you could be open, you know, you could trust this person because we do have here 
this um this card here you know this uh, codependent card that also stems from uh you know not being able to trust others and stuff like that you know so spirit is saying you can be completely open with this person you could be open you know you um you are safe and divinely guided know that this is all part of you know it's part of the part of the script okay so spirit is telling you like this is all part of the script just go with the flow and everything is all good and dandy okay you are safe you are divinely guided you could be open so you know make sure that you heal whatever you need to heal take your time uh you have your reassurance that you are going to be making progress and you are going to get to the paradise you are going to get to your four of wands with this person okay so that was just a little mini reading if you want to dig deeper just hit me up we could definitely do another reading um and um you know leave a comment and let me know if this is you